Good evening. The state television company Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today is broadcast. Liberation Army volunteers continue to protect Artsakh territories. Interview with the Speaker of the Parliament of the Republic of Western Armenia, Leonardo Basmajan. News from Western Armenia. First flight from Russia to Artsakh can take place this year. Azerbaijani culture vandalism continues. Armenia's representative to UNESCO. UN Secretary General calls on Armenia and Azerbaijan to resume talks under the OSC auspices. The Greek Foreign Minister has declared Turkey's new Ottoman dreams unacceptable. US Congress blocks the supply of American weapons to Turkey. Under the command of Colonel Valodia Vadisian, around 50 volunteers went on a mission to protect the territories of Artsakh. This mission represents, since September 27, 2020, the dispatch of over 400 volunteers under the auspices of the Liberation Army, originally formed by Artsakh hero commander Leonid Asgaldian. President Armen Akabramian pays tribute to these freedom fighters who decided to continue their struggle. He respectively greets Colonel Volodya Vadisian, who has been participating in hostilities for more than 30 years of combat engagement in service for the Armenian nation. Even if nothing is the same, it is not over yet, emphasized Armenak Abramian. In a conversation with Western Armenia TV, the Speaker of the National Assembly of the Republic of Western Armenia, Leonardo Basmajan, spoke about his visit to Artsakh, his expectations and impressions. Mr. Basmajan referred to the decision of the French Parliament regarding the recognition of the Artsakh's independence, the government's response, as well as the work to be done in the future. The interview is available on our official YouTube channel in Spanish and French. An application has been submitted to UNESCO to include the historical Shalmidam Canal in Western Armenia in the World Heritage List. The municipality of Artamet in Van has applied to UNESCO to include the 3,000-year-old Shalmidam Canal in the World Heritage List. During the search operations in the city of Mush, 64 pieces of historical value were confiscated in the crime. There is one suspect against whom a criminal case has been initiated. During the operation, 64 historical objects were confiscated, including coins, necklaces, seals and statues. The Republic of Artsakh and the Russian leadership are discussing the issue of opening air communication and the first flight from Russia to Stepanakert Airport, which can take place in December, Ria Novosti informed citing the sources in Artsakh's administration. Now both sides are making efforts for that to happen, the source said, answering the question if it's possible that the flights at Stepanakert Airport restore until the end of the year. He added that there will be flights for passengers at Stepanakert Airport, which are expected to arrive in Artsakh not only from Moscow but also from other regions of Russia. During the plenary session of the UNESCO Executive Council, the Republic of Armenia Permanent Representative Ambassador Christian Ter Stepanyan made a speech. In his speech, the Permanent Representative of the Republic of Armenia noted with regret that the UNESCO, established with the mission of protecting the world cultural heritage, is incapable, even powerless, of preventing the deliberate destruction of cultural heritage, which we have witnessed in recent months, when Artsakh was struggling against the armed aggression of Turkey and Azerbaijan, their allies and thousands of mercenaries terrorists involved from Syria. During that aggression, the St. Ghazan Chetso's church in Shushi, a place of worship for Armenian people and a masterpiece of 19th century architecture, was bombed twice. The permanent representative of the Republic of Armenia emphasized that even at the moment when the director general of UNESCO was making another call for the protection of the region's heritage, information and facts were being received about Azerbaijan's ongoing vandalism of the Armenian cultural heritage. UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres calls on Yerevan and Baku to resume talks under the OSCE auspices to achieve sustainable peace settlement. He also calls on the governments and people of Armenia and Azerbaijan to embark on the path of dialogue leading to regional peace, stability and prosperity. Guterres also called on the parties of Artsakh conflict to ensure unhindered humanitarian access to areas in need. The Secretary General noted that the UN is ready to meet humanitarian needs in all areas affected by conflict and if requested to increase assistance to Armenia and Azerbaijan. He calls on all parties influencing the situation to fully cooperate with the UN representatives in order to ensure them unhindered access. According to RIA Novosti, Turkey has neo-Ottoman dreams, which is unacceptable, said Greek Foreign Minister Nikos Dendias at a conference on Mediterranean dialogue organized by Italian Institute for International Policy Studies with the support of Italian Foreign Ministry. During the discussion, the host said that the gas reserves in the eastern Mediterranean Sea have caused escalation of tensions in recent years and asked if Greece is concerned about Turkey's actions. Dendias replied that Athens is very concerned. According to him, in the 21st century, 
country, the European country is threatened by the intention to exercise its legal right to war. The situation with Turkey is very difficult. It wants to join the European Union, but Turkey has new Ottoman dreams. It is unacceptable for us, he said. The U.S. Congress has blocked the supply of American weapons and military equipment to Turkey. This was confirmed on Friday by U.S. Assistant Secretary of State of Military Affairs Clark Cooper test report. Yes, Congress is suspending sales to Turkey, Cooper said, but did not comment on the matter. In August, the U.S. Weekly Defense News reported that the U.S. legislature had been blocking all major deals on Washington selling arms and military equipment to Ankara for almost two years. The members of the Congress took this step in an attempt to put additional pressure on Turkey to force them to give up the S-400 anti-aircraft missile systems previously acquired from Russia, the publication says. Now let us represent your attention a song by Maratuk Ensemble. You can find the whole version of the song in the official page of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.